internship with uh, Vision to Hear, and he's teaching me how to uh, speak my testimony and uh, all that sort of stuff. And I, I love uh, speaking my testimony because uh, every one of us here is a, uh, is a story. We all have a story. Right now, we are all part of the story. Some parts of our story are good. Some parts aren't so good. Either way, we all have a story to share. And I certainly have had my uh, fair share of, uh, of pain. Now, a lot of us have felt in the past, or maybe if you feel now, like maybe we are alone or, or rejected, <coughs> unloved. Now, all of us in this room have at one point felt that way. But there's one person who will never uh, let you go. That's God. He will always make you feel wanted. You know, you'll you'll feel uh, you may feel alone. You may feel you know hurt. But the difference uh, with God is that He's got your back. That He's there for you during those times. And one of the you know um, uh, uh, darker things that I've dealt with uh, that I believe that you know needs to be covered because as Christians we can't hide from the deep pains of of, of life. And one of the things I struggled with was uh, was self harm. And if and, and if any of uh, you aren't familiar with that, it's uh it's purposely harming yourself when uh for, for when you need to cope with stress. And I dealt with that for a very long time, very intensely, very heavily. And there's one thing I learned about that, and that's that we don't. Uh, it's a very common thing in today's society, uh, whether you, you know it or not. It's just very hidden. It's very often swept under the rug. Uh, one of the things that I want to commit to as a speaker is to, to rip up that rug and, and deal with some of those issues, you know? And uh, uh, there's one thing I've learned when it comes when it comes to self, uh, self-harm, is that uh, we don't need to harm ourselves. <coughs> self-harm isn't necessary because God already cut himself for us, Amen. so we don't need to cut ourselves. Right. And that's something I've known for the longest time. And I just was inside this box. It felt like a box of just like, I, I, when you're so um, uh, uh, deep down in depression and loneliness, you can't see outside that box. But it's through the death of Jesus, he can rip that box apart. And he can show you the way to true happiness. You can find happiness in other people. You can find hope in other people. You can find love in other people. But it's God's love and God's hope that's everlasting. Earthly love can fail. God's love is everlasting and will never fail. I had moments in my depression where I would call people up at 3 in the morning. Sometimes they don't answer. Sometimes when I was at school and I needed one of my friends to be there for me, they were absent. God is never absent. Amen. He is always there at 3 o'clock in the morning when you need him the most. And I'm here to testify today that God is alive and well and there is hope whether you're dealing with self-harm, whether you're dealing with any other addiction such as drugs or maybe even sex. It doesn't matter. God can help you with anything and he is always there. Yes, God's love is power. Jesus' love is power. Amen. And it's Jesus that saves us, and it's because of that that we are here today. So uh, that's a little bit about myself and my testimony. So uh, I want to thank you all.